Good afternoon, everybody. Tech out here. Today we're going to be taking another look at One UI after I've had some time to use it. I've been using the One UI um, 4 Beta 1 on my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 here for about a week now, and I've been using it constantly. I haven't um, switched to my iPhone. This has been my daily driver on the Beta for about a week now. And um, I'm actually happy to report I'm not having too many issues. Battery life seems to be pretty decent, especially for the Z Flip 3, which doesn't have pretty uh, have really good battery life um, to begin with, even on um, a stable release. Um, so I'm happy to say that the beta doesn't seem to be affecting that. One UI 4 doesn't seem to be affecting that in a negative way. Um, it stayed about the same. Um, some other features that I um, forgot to mention in my initial video was one of these new features called Extra Dim. And what you can do is you can toggle that if you have your screen brightness all the way down. Um, you can kind of see it gets a little bit dim even with the uh, up here. I'm not going to turn it all the way down because we won't be able to see anything, but you can make your phone extra dim for reading at like night. Um, if you're in a dark place and you want to make your screen super, super, super dim, you can turn that on and toggle it, um, and it goes a little bit below what your uh, slider will right there. As you can see here, I have my um, theme set based on my wallpaper, um, so you can see it's taking um, the green here from the little Android right there. So that's pretty cool. That's one of the One UI features. As you can see, my icons and stuff like that. Um, and some of my accents are also themed that color. If we uh, go to like the system apps right here, you can see that they are kind of that teal blue, um, like my little Android and my background right here. So that's pretty nice. It's a nice touch just to be able to customize your phone and kind of make it match with you know your style and your themes that you have set with your wallpaper and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's pretty much, I mean, it in beta one, the big stuff, like, like I said, we do have that uh, stuff for the screen brightness. Um, there were a few other, you know, odds and ends here and there, some new widget styles and stuff like that with the rounded edges. Um, that's those right there. Um, one issue is Twitter does lag, um, which seems to be an Android 12 issue. Um, a lot of people on the Pixel 6 with Android 12 were reporting that too, that it stutters and lags when you're scrolling. Um, there are some issues with the 120 hertz um, refresh rate on the Z Flip 3 on Beta 1 that is a known issue. Um, where it may not always be enabled. Um, it's hard to tell coming from an iPhone you know, exactly whether it is on or off um, until you actually see it on for a while and get used to it being on, um, going 60 hertz to 60 hertz. You know, you can't really tell. Uh, but I have noticed some stutter in that and it not being as smooth as it used to be. But like I said, that is a known issue that uh, 120 hertz may not work on all screens. Um, so that's to be expected right now. Hopefully we'll get beta 2 here shortly and they add some more of the Android 12 features and just more customizable you know, options and stuff like that. That's what I really like to see them add is things to customize it and change things up a little bit, make it look a little bit different. Because um, having that same look over and over again just gets boring after a while in my opinion. But that's One UI 4 Beta 1 based on Android 12 on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Running pretty well, no significant issues to report at the moment. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.